the seven laws you should never ignore. The universe runs on natural laws. Apples fall, birds fly, we live, we die. People in the past have taken the time to study these laws so that humanity can use it to their advantage. Because of this, we now know how to push against gravity to fly and we use the knowledge that one day we must die to live more fulfilling lives. Some say that there are 12 of these laws, while others, like Hermes Trismegistus, say that there are seven. In this video, I'm going to explain what these seven principles of Hermeticism are, and I'm going to show you how to apply them to your life. Hermeticism is a branch of Gnosticism, and it follows the philosophy that God is a magician, but we won't dive into that in this video. This idea came about from texts that were translated in the late 1400s in Florence, Italy. These texts are believed to be written by an ancient demigod named Hermes Trismegistus. Being a Gnostic tradition, Hermeticism focuses on the pursuit of Gnosis, meaning the pursuit of knowledge of spiritual and mystical matters. You see, in ancient times, all major religions gatekept the most important spiritual knowledge. The Gnostics, and later the Hermetics, rebelled against this. They developed a way of thinking that helped them communicate with God directly, without the need for priests, rabbis, or any other religious middlemen. So, what kind of man was Hermes Trismegistus? and what made him so widely influential. Hermes Trismegistus is presented as a combination of the Egyptian god Soth and the Greek god Hermes, who are both gods of writing and magic. Besides Soth and Hermes, Hermes Trismegistus is also associated with the planet Mercury, Enoch slash Metatron, and Moses, to name a few. He wrote about seven different principles. They are the core of Hermetic philosophy. They are as follows. The principle of mentalism, the principle of correspondence, the principle of vibration, the principle of polarity, the principle of rhythm, the principle of cause and effect, and the principle of gender. The principle of mentalism. The all is mind, the universe is mental. This means that the universe itself, at a foundational level, is mental. All life, matter and energy are all thoughts of an infinite, perfect living mind, which we are all connected to. This mind is everything that was, everything that is and everything that will be. And it is also nothing at the same time. Though we can never fully understand this creative force, we can compare it to a perfect living mind. In this realm down here on earth, nothing manifests until you think about it first. In other words, your thoughts create your reality. We can use this to directly improve our lives. The lesson drawn from this principle is that if we think the right thoughts, the right actions will follow and our preferred reality will be created. Let this principle be a reminder that it is vital to slow down and plan carefully. Spend time reflecting on your true passions and identify your life's purpose. Once you have done so, your personal thoughts will be aligned with the thoughts of the great living mind, making it easier to create the reality that you desire. How to apply it. Consider the initial thought that led you to watch this video. Why are you here? What are you looking for? When we recognise how much our thoughts manifest every day, whether internally through our emotional state or externally as the things we consume online or the places we go, we see that we can control our minds and we can control our lives. We get better at this through the pursuit of knowledge and through spiritual practices such as mindfulness. The principle of correspondence. As above, so below. 
as below, so above, as within, so without. 